Hey everybody, welcome back to Common Sense EU4 Multiplayer, featuring myself, Northern Line, as well as Quill, Mathis, and Roomba. Say hello. Hi. Hello. Hey, how's it going? It's going well. Holy crap, Denmark has a lot of territory. I just noticed all the stuff east of uh, Prussia. Yeah, 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 they took over like all of the Livonian order. Hey, Mathis, they didn't. if you have more take over territory, your... now would be the time for it. I'm going to take over your Livonian order. <laughs> don't know what this means. Well, I don't want to declare on on Poland because they have fucking France as their ally. I don't want to deal with France. Well, what about Denmark? Uh, Denmark. You declare on Denmark, and then that will put you to war against Poland without bringing in France. Do I have to declare them? Uh, I mean, I, I'm not I, trying to encourage this because, like, I need more people <laughs> against these people. Like, I'm fine. I'm just saying, like, they're right. super vulnerable right now. Where is Denmark's closest thing to me? Uh, Nordland. Geldingen, which is right next to Memel. Right, I can, oh, I can yeah. declare war on Denmark for show superiority. Uh, is that like a trade CB or something? Uh, war goal is show superiority. Winning 80% of the battles will give you a ticking war score. Yeah, but what's the actual CB called? Like, that's your, your war Trade goal. dispute. Yep. Yeah, trade. Alright, well, I guess I'll start fabricating on Denmark. I kind of want to declare on Denmark, too, now. I'm like, maybe I'll just declare on Austria. They, that would be pretty valuable or um, vulnerable right now, too. Yeah, Denmark, the Papal Burgundy. State and Burgundy come in. Oh, no no Poland. Yeah, and Burgundy is completely effed up right now. But I want Poland. Poland's there easy. We. Rebels finally decided to pop. Bye-bye, Rebels. Like I re ah, da, 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 da. so I'm in the best well, position for war that I've been in in a long time. I suppose I might as well get started, huh? Oh, was doing, it, that's uh oh, that's, that scares doing, me. That's doing anonymous something. <laughs> or something. I mean, I'm just sitting around doing nothing right now, so I might as well do something. I could I could probably drag you into the war when I declare no. it. No, nah. I don't want to get involved in your war. Don't declare right. on me. <laughs> no, I've got an idea, though. Something something to do. I mean, I saw you beating up Burgundy in Denmark, so it's kind of an opportunity to cut my coalition down a bit. Yep. Let's, uh... Well, let's get this other one going first. What was the other one? Uh, the other one, I, I don't know who did it or why, but, um... Well, hold on. I'm gonna. I'll tell you after I've done it. The fact <laughs> yeah. that you said that makes me think that it's something that I've done. So I'm ready. No, no, it's not that. It's uh. Oh, it's gonna be bad. I think it, whatever it is. I think it was Dauphine who did it. For some reason, they they decided that the Switzer Switzerlish people deserve to be a free, and that's obviously not allowed. Are they supporting independence of the Swiss? No, they're just they're free. They exist. Oh. They stopped existing, and now they exist again. Oh. And so now. Now they don't get to exist anymore. Switzerland with zero allies. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. why I didn't. That's why I didn't want to tell you mm -hmm. until I had declared the war. Oh, that's okay. I wouldn't want to get in on that. I'm doing my my own thing, keeping it real, you know. Oh yeah, dog. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> Fuck the police and all that. That's right. I see a number of people just dishonored alliances. What was that all about? Um, yeah, I don't know why, but, uh, Burgundy decided not to come in, and Denmark decided not to come in, They're so it's, busy. that's what I figured, I guess, so it's, it's me and Austria going mano a mano with the Papal State backing them up. Oh, there you go, alright. I like the, the chain of dominoes, where it's like complete stasis until somebody declares war. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, okay, well, there's not that much territory around. We better start snapping it up. Oh, there we go. Spain is being an, a boss this time. Really appreciate how much work they're doing against Austria and Burgundy. Oh, I wouldn't worry about Austria. Austria is going to be just... Fine. Okay. Actually, Spain is losing its attack against Austria. Oh, I wouldn't worry about <laughs> Austria. Okay. Yeah. 
I really would like Spain to kill that stack, though. Sweden <laughs> declares war in Denmark. <laughs> oh, Denmark. Uh, everyone's having fun today. Yeah. Come on, you got it. You got it, Spain. You got this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Walk back to Austria. What could have possibly changed in my glorious homeland? I can't wait to see the rolling waves of grain <laughs> in Crane. Certainly there's not a 14,000 Saxon stack there, sieging my home province. Oh, this is gonna be good. I'm hearing I need to do things to make Northern Lion stop being happy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, at least, like, probably you guys don't watch these from my perspective. It really has been, like, two months of, like, no manpower, rebellion pops. No manpower. Arumba declares war on me to force me to surrender on the first day so he can get power <laughs> projection. Like, no manpower. Huge revolt risk. And then I just swallow a country and I spend the next month digesting it. This is pretty much how it's been so far. If I declare somebody as a co-belligerent, can that co-belligerent bring in their allies? Yep. Yep. All right, so I don't want to do that to Poland. Where did Austria go? Like, their stack got destroyed. Well, not destroyed, but broken. And then they were marching back, but maybe they went to their first allies' territory? Maybe they walked down to where the Papal State is? I don't know. I don't, I don't see their army. Not that I'm going to give you information that's correct, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't see Austria's army anywhere. Mm, maybe they got killed on their way back. It'd be nice if there was more that you could do with colonial nations, like to, to try to break them free. Mm -hmm. Like subsidize them or, I don't know, do something. It just seems like the colonial nations never want to break off. Even though they usually kind of should. Come on, finish the siege in Burgundy so I can piece them out. Not even going to take any of their stuff. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, it's all yours. Can't wait till you take some of this Danish stuff and I can demand unlawful territory. <laughs> it's going to be a great day. It's like, hold on. But right now it's owned by someone who's not in the HRE. It's like, how how does this make any sense? Yeah, I don't know. Holstein maybe used to be... It was always Denmark, there's other, right? There's other cores, no. Oh, okay. There's other cores there that like could conceivably... I could release them as an independent nation. I'm All not right. gonna. Oh, snap. I have an event to gain five imperial authority. But I'm gonna take the one that gives me less aggressive expansion impact. One day... That's a good decision, because uh, Imperial Authority goes down by 0. 0.52 a month. Yeah, that's absurd. So in 10 months, you would lose 5 Imperial Authority. <laughs> well, I would just use it immediately to, like, improve relations, I guess. Yeah, it does not last very long, does it? And it's pretty bad. Let's peace out you. All right, I'm going in on Denmark now. Yeah. Netherlands will drag Westphalia to war with Denmark, Burgundy, Austria. So you're back to war with the Burgundy again. Um. No. no. It's a weird peace deal pop up then. Yeah. But because yeah, I just vassalized the Netherlands. So I don't know what the deal was. Oh, there's Austria's army. Who else is in this? Can't even remember. Oh yeah, Austria and Poland. So is Austria just going to cease to exist? I, I don't know. It depends on uh, what Northern Lions got planned here. I would like that. Oh my god, I can't... I can't get to the Papal State. Why not? It's not possible. The Savoy hates me. Or Milan hates me. Despite them being your march. I, if you give me military access... Explicitly, because obviously I have it just from being at war with someone you're at war with or something. Um, mm -mm. I don't think like, it works. I can, walk, I can walk through your land for some reason. Probably the person that you're at war with has access. I, I've given access right now to the Papal State. And you're ah, at war with the Papal okay. State. That explains it. 
But no, me giving you access would not give you access through my marches or through my my vassals. That's stupid. I kind of agree with you there. Yeah. Just tell them. Just tell them what? Tell them to let, let me through. Yeah, say, no. you're my march. You'll do as I say? Exactly. <laughs> now give me another 15,000 men between the ages of 18 and 35. <laughs> I can wait 18 to 35 years for this, but, you know, get it started, please. These forts take so long to siege now. Mm -hmm. the, level, the level four ones. Also, I have, I have word from Wiz that the 1.13 patch should be coming out probably within a week or two. They're actually mm. going to make it live? Yeah, and there's some some changes. One that I'm very very excited about, and that's that. You remember I've complained multiple times about how having lots of artillery actually slows down your sieges. That's being changed so that when you breach the walls, you get plus one breach and you get plus two siege status. Oh, okay. So so it'll go back up to three 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 siege status improvement when you breach instead of getting less. Oh my god, my game's getting super laggy. Seems to happen a lot in late game. We're already into 1600. So yeah, only got like another 200 years left. Only. <laughs> we gotta go pretty fast if we're gonna get that far in the next six episodes. Yeah, we have to play on like speed 20. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Austria. Gonna need to offer a little bit more than that. Seeding Vienna to me. Who wants Vienna? Well, that is their big one. But actually, everything's pretty rounded off there. Yeah, they are. I don't think they started that high either. I think there was a lot of development going on. Okay, I can walk through you. Can I walk into Dauphine? Yes, I can. And I can walk into Savoy, but I can't walk into Tuscany. All right, here comes the super... Oh, Tuscany hates me too? <laughs> Everyone Why? hates us. Why does hate... Tuscany hate me? They all hate us. Everyone hates us. I sort of don't understand though. Like, I feel like... I've never interacted with Tuscany in my life, and they're already like, oh, your reputation precedes you. <laughs> <laughs> you get 45 aggressive expansion with them. Like, hello, good sir. So, like, pata, get out of my face. <laughs> we are the glorious uh, diplomats of the Mongol Empire. <laughs> nice to meet your acquaintance. I hope we can get along peacefully. How's this, uh, how's Poland doing, Mathis? I see that in there. Spain and Russia have descended on it like a carrion vulture. Mm -hmm. My gosh. Quill, what are you doing to Denmark? Stop it! It's Unholy, not all the unspeakable things, yeah. You are ruining their, their entire, like, future generations. I should just stay over here. Why, why would I need to take any attrition? I'm just gonna stand in my territory. Let my allies do all the work. Oh, this is the hottest jam on the whole soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> there we go. So now I vassalize the Netherlands, right? So now when I got all these stupid pop-ups about the Netherlands, I can just make the choice to just give them up. Does it only happen once per province or does it keep triggering? I, I think that it's supposed to be like the provinces kind of fire one by one and then they all defect to the Netherlands. Right. Just so, like, if uh, I let the rebels show up, if I say Limburg is ours, I fight the separatists think, in Limburg, I was just wondering if it's just like... Well, I think that the Papua. Netherlands need to be independent, and you already vassalized them. Yeah. I don't I don't know that countries are, or provinces are going to try to defect to a vassal. Well, they are. Oh, well, I, I actually... Event. I can give Limburg to, uh, to the Netherlands right now. Okay. But, I don't know, I'll fight the separatists because I have a giant army that's not doing anything. Yeah, I haven't actually done a Netherlands campaign, so I'm not familiar with it. I've had this, like, trigger before, and it's certainly very annoying. I just don't know if it triggers... Well, we'll find out. I've, I think that's my third one that's triggered so far. And I'll try to keep track if it repeats any provinces. Hey, Aroomba. Hey, what's up? What are you doing here? Got I here. have to get down to the Papal State. Why? 
Because they're Austria's ally, but I'm not going to take any of their land. Just use but, my B leader. He was not very good. Oh, freaking. You, ever, you always have like an A leader and a B leader? Mm. Like a I'm pick. lucky if I have an A leader, honestly. Leader number one, leader number two. Oh, he's leader number three. Oh, he's so bad. Why is he in charge of an army? <laughs> Thought I gave you a job pushing papers. I wish, I, you know, I really feel like something, something that was suggested, and I, I think it would be a great change, is if they made it so that your leader limit, yeah, give it, give it so that you have like a default leader limit of one, but then for like every 20 regiments that you have, you should be allowed to have an extra leader. Or like maybe every 50, or just some number, so that you're not always, it's silly when you have, you know, 200,000 troops and you can only have two leaders in your whole goddamn country. Yeah. It's like, really? We have 200,000 men and only two? Who are qualified to actually be considered <laughs> leaders? Yeah. Makes no sense. Goodbye, Austria. You peaced out Austria? Mm-hmm. You p -p -p peaced out Austria? What? <laughs> I apparently had negative two war score with them. I'm like, what? Right, because uh, I they, can't they be occupied, sieging anything. They occupied one Spanish province in the south of Italy. Oh, well, there you go. Oops, that's not what I want. <laughs> Same song. <laughs> it's a, a hell great... of a song, though. Oh, it's huge, man. It's really big in Moldavia right now. It's been big in my country for like 200 years. Yeah, it just never goes anywhere. It's like happy birthday. <laughs> you mean the copyrighted song? Yeah, sorry. That the... We cannot sing on stream. Copywritten uh, celebratory song uh, of great merriment. Yeah. <sighs> All right. War reparations, two provinces, humiliation, and some money. Sounds good. Denmark will cede. Those two little stupid provinces that should have been mine from the start of the game that they conquered, like, instantaneously? Yeah. God, that's been bothering me for so long. It feels like every episode is, like, every two minutes, I check Denmark to see what their status is. <laughs> if I declared war, what would be the alliance status? They've always had really strong allies. And I was like, fuck it, now it's mine. I can't actually demand unlawful territory. Is it not part of the Empire? I think because Denmark was not part of the Empire, I can't ask for it from Quill. If I'm reading the the negative part properly, has no Quill has no non-core province that is part of the empire and that has not been liberated from a non-imperial country? Yeah. So the only active country that has a core on those provinces is Denmark and they're not in the HRE. Ah, okay. So there's like an a like a relic core from Oldenburg and Bremen, but they're not active. And Why don't you make Bremen? Them. You won't. Austria, just accept that your people are going extinct here, okay? <laughs> Don't waste your time with your these freaking peace deals. Oh, that uh, <laughs> uprising was a little further along than I thought it was. Hey, that's bad. <clears throat> Ooh, Westphalia has announced France as their rival. Yeah, I couldn't uh, do Denmark anymore. That's a bit different. Limited options. And two of my allies already hate them, so it's just going to solidify those relationships that much more. Seemed worth it. Mines is fighting Spain. How does this happen? Uh, they're in the coalition. Mm, oh, I see now. Mm -hmm. It all becomes clear. But we're what's interesting... All those truce timers. What's interesting is that they, they actually were not in the war until Quill's war ended. And now they suddenly are. Huh. Couldn't get called in because of already fighting a war. And that modifier oh, my, went away. 
Yeah, something like that, yep. But, I don't know, I'm not particularly worried about Spain. If they continue throwing their troops at me, they're going to pick oh. up a bunch of war exhaustion. <laughs> they, what? Great Britain's like, screw that Saxony guy. I was improving relations with them. <laughs> and then they're just like, oh, no, Burgundy fucking sucks, man. Oh, religious turmoil in Sweden ended. Good on them. You know, that Sweden's a real up-and-comer right now. Mm -hmm. No Scandinavia in our game, though. It's been a pretty crazy area. Do you remember when Sweden belonged, like, was in a PU under Denmark, and then we liberated them, and they yeah. got PU'd again? I think the same thing happened to Lithuania. Oh, who are independent right now? I did not realize that. I might be conf getting confused between my two games, though. That happens a lot. Oh, heck yeah. Prestige over 50. Nice. The dream is real. Give me a moment here. I got I got stuff to do. So many, <laughs> like, crowns and flags, thanks to being the emperor. You can upgrade Wait. your government rank. What does this mean? Wait, what happened to the Netherlands? I don't know. Do you not have them as a vassal anymore? They fucking disappeared. <laughs> you just get the land back? No, it belongs to Burgundy. What land? Brabant, I think, was was the only province that the Netherlands owned. And <laughs> they just disappeared and they gave it to Bur What? You know when it said I would get called into a war? Is it possible that I didn't get called in but the war was still happening? Yeah, that could be. It's fucking robbed. <laughs> what the f what the what? All right, do the cores still exist? Yeah, I mean they get cores, actually, not all over the place. All right, I'm really see. confused. See what kind of coalition this may or may not create. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Are you getting a lot of coalitions? <laughs> We're about to find out. I mean, we all have a lot of aggressive expansion. Luckily, most people seem to hate mines more. <laughs> I wouldn't say that's lucky. <laughs> I don't know, from where I'm sitting. Alright, it's time to fight the Spanish. Let's see how we do. Mines, don't lose. 113% discipline, 5.6 morale. It's pretty good. I think the Spanish are going to lose. Stupid Spanish. All right, on that. <laughs> yeah, we should put a cut in here. Cliffhanger. I'm good. I, no, I need like, just a second here. I got so many flags, man. Oh, that, and they're running in the wrong direction. That one's got to go. Oh, yeah. When I mean, they can't get home. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, they own the boot. Okay. Oh my lord. I'm so pissed about the Netherlands. I mean, I guess not that pissed. Mostly the reason I, I vassalize them is to hopefully make the problem where I keep getting the rebellions from the Netherlands event popping up. Because, like, worst comes to worst, I can release the provinces to the Netherlands. But now, I'm, I'm really confused. Are you ready to go, Northern Line? I know, I know. Just oh, give me a shit. moment. There's so many flags. What flags? You know, the flags that show up at the top of the screen? Oh, yeah. There's so many of these flags. I was just, I was busy making the HRE stronger. I can cut it. I'm good here. I can, I can survive. Alrighty. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you would like to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. See you soon.